All right, guys, I'm going to show you how this uh, whole mess started. I have this Samsung Galaxy uh, S5. Uh, yesterday, my wife was very upset that I wanted to test this uh, device underwater, uh, especially after I told her that I had that uh, wireless uh, charger uh, receiver pad in the back. We'll take a peek in here and see what's in here. All right, we got that uh, Qi wireless receiver pad, so we can do wireless charging, and you can see that it actually goes into the waterproof seal a little bit, but I thought with this seal here on the battery cover that would actually uh, clear that and not have any issues. Of course my daughter wants to play in the water. Alright, so I sealed it up really well yesterday and I did the test and she was really upset about this. I have my RAV Power wireless charger pack right here and we're actually only in a couple of inches of water. So. We have to listen quiet, or we have to listen for the charging uh, noise because this phone's pretty much dead. Uh, the screen won't even turn on anymore. One more time. Okay, so that will actually turn green even if the wireless receiver pad is out of the device and just placed up against it. So the uh, what told us that it was working is the audio feedback in the Galaxy S5. Normally the screen would light up, but you obviously can't see that because it's uh, pretty much dead. Let me dry off my hands real quick and we'll check the underside. Now if you notice, that seal doesn't go all the way around the device. So you will have uh, some bubbles sometimes. And the bubbles come from air being exchanged with water in this area away from the seal like right up in that area but as you can see water does get in uh, with this uh, closed all the way down you can kind of see where the water was pushed up against the seal and then you can see that the back of the Qi wireless receiver uh, does have water there and the back of the door has water as well uh, let's go ahead and perform this test with that removed and see if it was a failure of the battery door seal or a failure because of this little guy right here. Alright, so I've dried everything out. I've gone around the device and made sure that the battery cover is sealed all the way around along with the USB port. I'm going to submerge it for a little bit longer. Now I'm not going to push buttons. Uh, as I know with most uh, devices that have this kind of uh, certification you don't want to push buttons because there's usually seals around those buttons and if you push them uh, that can cause the uh, seal to open up so no pushing the home button volume rockers or power button I'm just not going to do that not going to try to introduce more water not going to try to squeeze down on the battery cover because you could push air out and then it could create like a little vacuum I would imagine and try to pull uh, air back in you can see there are some bubbles uh, coming out of the device now the only bubbles should be from the areas uh, where the seal uh, doesn't cover them up so it should be like around the edges uh, where there's some air in there so let's take this back out let me dry off my hands let's pop off the back door now this device is already ruined so I encourage you not to do this test uh, by yourself and as you can see this time, everything is dry, the back door, the battery. So if you stick something under here, I would encourage you not to try and submerge it underwater. As you can see right there, the uh, moisture detection tape has turned pink. If I take the battery out, you can see at the top of the battery, that one's pink as well. And there used to be one right here, but when I was trying to dry off the phone, uh, that one came off and that's pink as well so they will be able to tell that uh, moisture got in the device now under most circumstances uh, it would be covered uh, under warranty if you followed uh, Samsung's guidelines however I did add that uh, wireless charging uh, pad back here which probably caused the water to get in so technically this would not be covered under warranty Another area of concern with the aftermarket Qi uh, wireless receiver pad is the back door. As you can see, just that little added bulk 
can cause the back cover to raise up in this area especially. Who knows, in this area it could be doing the same, but due to the flash and heartbeat sensor, we can see how much it's being raised right there. Overall, I hope this video and the other ones will raise awareness about some of the concerns of the Qi uh, wireless receiver pad. Uh, of course, with this particular model, NFC is cut down, you do get your wireless charging, but your device most likely will not be uh, water resistant up to uh, 1 meter, 3 feet in depth uh, for a time of 30 minutes or even a time of uh, a few seconds as we saw in the video. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's only through viewers like you that I'm able to uh, destroy these devices and get new ones. Thanks a lot.